Hey, Jay in Love, how you doing, bro? What's going on, bro? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm here with Boxing Beats the Rhymes, Chris Coban, uh, JD on Love. How are things going, man? How you? How, how are things looking for your fight, man, so today? I mean, uh, you know, the fight is here. Mm -hmm. So I hope everything was looking good. I, I had a great camp, training camp. I mean, it's here now, so if I'm not in shape or anything, then that's a problem. But, you know, we work our butt off day in and day out, so that's not a problem. Okay, well, you just read this. You just resting right now, getting used to just relaxing yeah, your body. Yeah, we we up and just watching TV, kicking it, man. That's about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, beats. Go ahead, Chris. Beats, Chris. Oh. Go. Ahead. Okay. Um, how you think your move to um super um middleweight gonna do? You feel better at I mean, that weight? I, I, I feel great at the weight. That's why I moved here. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel real good, strong. I'm still fast. You know, I just. I kept my power and everything, so you know, um, it's, you know, it should be should be good. You know, I feel great here. I'm, I'm comfortable, and I think you know, uh, I think that I have everything I need to be at this weight. Okay, so um, was you tight at the weight when you were fighting guys like Rosado and Finley at the time? Can you say that again? Was you tight at the weight when you were fighting Derek Finley and Rosado? You know what? I, I fought Derek Finley at 160, like 164, 63, 64. You know, and I fought, um, I fought Rosado at 160. And, uh, those, you know, those extra couple of pounds make a big difference, you know, believe it or not. So, you know what I mean? Uh, I didn't feel drain fighting, uh, with Derek Finley at the weight that I was at. I did feel drained and hard to make the weight at 160 fighting Rosado, but, you know, that's behind me. That's been. Now we're talking about now. We got, you know, to today. And we got the future. You know what I mean? The future we passed today and do what we got to do. Then, you know what I mean? But uh, the weight is fine. 168. I mean, I'm not a little dude. You know what I mean? And I'm six foot. I'm strong. You know what I mean? I'm perfectly fit for the, for the weight division. So what do you know about your opponent? Um, I know... Uh, He's just a, a crafty southpaw. He's from Providence, Rhode Island. I mean, majority of his fights have been in Providence, Rhode Island. So, uh, you know, uh, it's, it doesn't do nothing too special or anything that I haven't seen before. And I fought, you know, plenty of southpaws in my career thus far. So, uh, you know, right now it's just going out there and painting the picture like I'm supposed to. You know what I mean? I don't really pay attention to what a guy does good or what he does bad. I just have to make him pay for whatever it is, you know what I mean, and take his ability away. So, you know, that's a, that's what we work on. You know, I want to go out there and, and, and be in control and, and do what I got to do. And, you know, the less he does, the more I do. So that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You look good in your last performance. I enjoyed your last performance, you know, like, and hey, man, you're, but you're building momentum. You're working your way up to the title title shot. Um, in the, in this weight class as well, and 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 it's, things are looking good, man. Get me. So, we, we, what we, what are you saying? Um, you gonna get the victory how it is, or you, or you feel like a knockout is gonna, is gonna be on the cards? You're just gonna just see how it goes. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you can't really call it. These guys come to fight, mm -hmm. and they, obviously they don't want to lose. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They don't want to lose. They don't want to lose. And this is a big stage for him as well. He's never fought on a big stage like this, as far as you know, headlining main event in, uh, on TV across the world, so you don't do that. And so, you know, he's going to come and try to bring it as well and display his talent. You know what I mean? He has a lot to prove. I got a lot to prove. I got a lot on the line. I got to go out there and make it happen. I can't play around with this guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I'm definitely going to let my hands go. I can't speak on what he's going to do, but I'm yeah. definitely going to let my hands go do what I do best. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Uh, if the knockout is there, we're going we gonna to get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let me, let me. All right. So let's assume. All right. Well, we, well, well, I will, I will assume that you know you uh -huh. pass this test. Yeah. Are you going to be fighting on on the card of the May fifth with? Uh, well, you know. I hope you are. You never know. Yeah. I would love to. You know, I would love to. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, but I, I'm always like this. You know, God God opens one door and closes another. Yeah. And opens another and closes another. So I have one door for in front of me, and that's tonight. Yeah, that's and right. Open. And if yeah. I get through it, then yeah. another door will open. So yeah. At the same time, we got to take care of business tonight, look great. Yep. And then I'm sure, you know, the sky's the limit for May 3rd and September and whatever else is after that. So, 
You oh. know what I mean? Of course, I would love to be on Floyd's undercard. Yeah. You know, uh, I missed September on a big on a big card. Um, I, you know, I would have loved to, to fight on the Canelo Floyd undercard, but I didn't. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, you know, this is my chance to to make my presence known. And, and let people know what it is and, you know, make people want to see me more. You know, people have so many different opinions about me. I'm overrated. I'm a cheater. I'm some of that. And so, you know what I mean? I got to go out there and display my talent like I was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm enjoying your performance, though. The performance you put on the last time, I, I, I really enjoyed that performance. It was a good, solid appointment, and you did what you had to do. And then I'm expect tonight. Everyone's tuning in tonight to watch you tonight. You know, you promoting yeah. it well all over Facebook. Every, all your friends, everyone's watching in. It's gonna be a hell of a yeah. night, and you you feeling good, and, and everyone's gonna be enjoying. Any other questions, Beats and Chris, for for um JD on Love? Yes. Um. After this fight, I'm looking for you to um step up, and you think you're ready for one of the other champions like Arthur Abraham? Ah, uh, man, I was just talking about Arthur Abraham. Yeah. Which is a great champion. Which is a great champion, a strong individual. You know, he's doing his thing. I would love to fight him, obviously. I don't have to just travel to Germany for him. You know what I mean? Mm. But that's part of the business. I would do it. No problem. You know what I mean? I want this. That's my goal. Listen, man, we got a goal. Like you guys want to have the best, the best interviews around. Whatever it is, I want to have the best fights around. I want to be known as one of the best. Like you guys want to be known as the best in what you do. You understand? Yeah. So if you know, I don't. It's, there's no. There's no real easy way. You know what I mean? They, people don't have to work as hard, or they have, you know what I mean? They, some people get handouts, but at the end of the day, this is boxing. You have to face somebody. You know what I'm saying? You have to face somebody. Maybe you get, maybe your road to wherever you are was not as hard as the next person's, but you eventually have to face someone in this sport. You know what I mean? And me, I have to face these tough guys. If I want to be known as one of the best, the Arthur Abrahams, the Carl Foxes, the whatever else is out there, the Andre Wards, I have to be able to share the ring with these guys, and that's my goal. Yeah. And I hate to say fight for the title, but I plan on winning the title at 168. But whatever is out there, whatever this business takes me, whatever venture it takes me on, that's my plan. Mm -hmm. All I do is got to work hard, stay dedicated to my craft, keep God first, and I'm ready to rock, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the champions are stronger at 168 than 160. So it's definitely gonna. That's definitely. I, I mean, a, yeah. I, I would take on, I would take on anybody from 160 to 168. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. We can make it. We can make 60. We make 68. We make, I was just 168 like four days, four days ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. I make it very well. You know, and sometimes I'll be like 164. You know what I mean? 166. Just messing around like. You know what I mean? This is days before weigh-in. This is day a week before the fight. So yes, I can make one sixty. I just don't like the way I feel at one sixty. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, we're, All right. we're going to be looking. Chris, go ahead. Yeah, I definitely think you should be at one sixty-eight because you heavily muscled. I think that'll be a perfect weight for you. Yeah, I'm a stronger. Yeah, listen, I'm not. I'm not a kid no more. I was, you know, twenty six years old. I mean, I'm not old either. But you know. Um, I mean, I, I do carry muscle. I'm not a little kid, you know what I mean? So, you know, sometimes your body can only go so far. And making 160, it seems like my body has had enough. I've been fighting at 60 for the longest. You know what I mean? I've been fighting 60, 65, you know, for so long. The majority of my whole career, my body just got tired of it. And was like, hey, it's time to bump it up a little bit. Was it a real struggle? The last days at 160, what's it like? Like having to fight a weight that you know is not conducive to how your body's developing. I mean, it, def it definitely, you can definitely feel it. I mean, sometimes I can hit somebody right now, and I know they they hurt. I know, like, okay, you felt that. But I was fighting these guys at one sixty, and I was hitting them with the same shots. I'm like, damn, are you feeling what I'm hitting you with? You know what I mean? Uh, are you actually t taking this? Like, okay. You know what I mean? So I to, I'm like, yo, it's, I just didn't feel right. I wasn't getting tired and things, and things like that. I'm always in great shape. These 10 rounds and 12 round fights, it's nothing. I can do that. You know what I mean? But I just, you know, I just didn't feel like myself, man. You know what I mean? Just rehydrate. You got to rehydrate and, and, and get back to your normal self. 
I mean, I, I went and ate a steak and some asparagus and had some potatoes. You know what I mean? I was back, bam, right where I was supposed to be. Like, I never was even losing weight. You know what I'm saying? So, at 60, it just took a lot more. It took a lot more to get me back to where I was. You know, it's only 24 hours to rehydrate. Sometimes less than that. Good stuff, bro. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Well, you know what, man? It's going to be... I know you're going to put on a great performance in front of everyone. And, um, the, hey, the steamship's going forward. And, hey... Hey, maybe we we'll get a post fight with you later on if that's all right. No, yo, yo, you know you ain't gotta ask me, man. Just hit me with the message, yo, Jay. Let's get the interview. I'm down for it, man. All right, man. Thanks, okay. Jalen. Thanks, excellent. Thanks, thanks all for right. your time. No. We will talk to you soon. Get that W. Right, yeah, get that W. Right. All right, take it. All right, boy. Okay, peace. Bye.